Hello friends. Today in this video discussion, you learn the manufacturing process of the makhan, that is the desi butter. In this video discussion, you learn the how to produce the makhan or the desi butter in small scale to industry level. What are the specifications? What are the processing parameters? And what are the technical terms which are involving in the production process of the butter? Let's start one by one points. Basically, in butter, there are the three types. First one is the makhan or the desi butter. That is the traditional process of the production process. In the home scale or the medium scale production process of the butter, that is the makhan or the desi butter, in which the milk, which is the first converted into the curd by the fermentation process, in which the natural fermentation by addition of the starter culture. Then after that, this curd added with the water and after that high speed churning and the immersion break and the formation of the butter. This butter is separated from the buttermilk and we get the specific characteristic natural fermented flavoring taste with this desi butter. The second one is the table butter that is the industry level production process in which just like the amul butter is called as a table butter in which the milk which is the first pre-processed and milk containing cream is separated by the cream separation machine and after that this cream is directly churned to separate the its containing fat content in the form of the granules they are separated and in which added additional salt and out of food color and the added flavoring may be added flavoring agents and properly processed to reduce the moisture containing by the passing or by pressing process and finally packaging is carried out. And the third category that is the white butter or also called as a cooking butter which is the just like the white uh, desi butter but in which natural fermentation is not occur in which only whatever the milk, milk containing cream is separated by the cream separation process and after that cream is directly churn to convert into the butter and we get the cooking butter. This cooking butter is most used for the production of the ghee in which without addition of the other ingredients in the cooking butter. In the butter manufacturing process that is the desi butter or maybe table butter or maybe white butter without any addition of other animal fat, waxes, mineral oils or any vegetable oils that means without any addition of other source of the fat and oils it must require to contain the natural whatever the milk containing fat this fat con con containing must require to in this final product during the production process the quality of the butter is maintained as per the specifications these are the specifications given in which the minimum fat content required for the final product for the table butter required Minimum 80% compulsory fat content required, that is the milk fat required. And for the white and the cooking butter required, minimum 76% fat content. And these are the other parameters and the processing parameters must require to control in order to produce the good quality of the product as per the specifications and norms. In the desi butter production process, for a small scale or in a home scale, first use of the full cream milk for the butter production process as per the initial fat content of that milk the yield of the butter is obtained initially raw milk is first pre-processed that means the filtration process then pasteurization or maybe boil for 5 to 10 minutes to inactivate the presence of the whatever the pathogenic microbial load then after that they cool to the inoculation temperature that is the up to 35 to 40 degrees celsius then addition of the starter culture that is the previous culture is added in the ratio of the 0.5 to 1% of that milk and after that they are incubated for a 12 hours under the 37 degrees celsius or normal room temperature then milk is converted to the curd after that this curd curd added with the water in the ratio of 1 as to 1 chilled water may be added and after that addition of the water churn for 15 to 20 minutes finally we get the butter this butter is separated from the buttermilk 
and this butter is press and remove the whatever the excess of buttermilk is present on that and finally we get the desi butter in small scale industry level desi butter production process processing step as same as in home scale first receiving of the full cream milk this full cream milk is first pre processed after that pre processing they are pasteurized properly pasteurization process then cool to the inoculation temperature then addition of the starter culture that is the lactic acid bacteria culture is added then after that incubated to reach the acidity level that is the 0.72.8 percent that means the milk is converted to the curd and after that this curd is added with the chilled water and churning process and resulting emulsion is break and after that the separation of the desi butter from the buttermilk and finally we get this butter after this butter properly press out the whatever the containing the butter milk from the butter and after that they properly packed and stored under the refrigeration and the frozen condition for the next processing steps before then second category of the butter that is the white butter white butter is mostly produced in the industry level by using the continuous butter making machine this butter is used for the production of the ghee for the production of the ice cream and number of the other products basically in white butter production process involving first use of the full cream milk full cream is first pre processed the pasteurization process is carried out after that the separation of the cream from the milk by using the cream separation machine by disc centrifuge machine bowl and disc machines and after that part of the cream this cream is separated from the milk this cream is continuously fed to the continuous butter making machine in this machine involving three stages uh, in which high speed churning process to break the emulsions and butter is separated from the buttermilk and after that buttermilk and butter is separated in this continuous butter making machines after that this butter butter is uh, further processed and after that they are packed and they stored the continuous butter making machine you can see in this picture the continuous butter making machine the main steps involving in which the machine there are the three main part first one is the churner then second one is the separator and third one is the working section in which the first the, after the separation of the cream from the milk this full cream cream is continuously loaded into the continuous butter making machine the first section that is the churning process in which the high speed churner churners are rotated with the speed of the 600 to 800 rpm due to the high speed churning emulsion is break and the formation of the butter and the buttermilk in the second section that is the separation section in which the buttermilk is separated from the butters and slightly press to remove the whatever the containing the remaining butter the next last section that is the working section in this working section the compression and the continuously uh, screw conveyor which is the compress the butter in which the working is carried out working that means the it's containing excess of the whatever the buttermilk which is the separated also during the working section added with the other ingredients like the salts that means the dosing sections and reduce the moisture content and they pass into the uh, into the perforated sieves and after that this butter is directly packed into the box uh, in the range of the 20 kg and stored under the frozen or the refrigeration storage these are the main sections and the processing steps involving in the continuous butter making process you can see in this picture the first section that is the high speed churning section in this churning section provided external jacket for the continuously cooling purpose then second section in which the separation sections provided bottom with the perforated plate to separate the buttermilk from the butter and also in which the continuously they are conveyed to the next section and the last section that is the working section in which they provided with the screw conveyors and uh, in which at the end of that screw conveyor provided with the perforated plate in which the whatever the containing excess of buttermilk which is the separated from this is in this section and finally we get the butter next third one is the table butter management process the table butter management process the main raw material that is the milk cream that means the full cream milk containing cream is separated by using the cream separation process and after that this cream is used as a main raw material first cream they are pasteurized then pass it to the heat exchangers to chill uh, 
uh, 9 to 11 degree celsius then addition of the anotope food grade color then after this cream is filled into the tumbling mixer that is the tumbling mixer in which the churning process is carried out the table butter management process which is the operated batch wise process in this tumbling mixer first addition of the cream into this mixer then properly close in this churning cycle first that is the 28 rpm for the 30 minutes churning to emulsion break whatever the um, butter which butter can use are developed and buttermilk which is the separated by passing into the perforated sieves then after that addition of the chilled water and uh, again butter is washing is carried out and after that the properly uh, butter is separated and this butter is uh, added with the salt in the ratio of 2.32-2.7 percent then passed into the packaging section in which the packaging machine that is the screw expeller just like machine that is the extrusion machine in which the screw conveyor which is the butter is continuously press pass into the as per the requirement of the specific shape and size of that butter they are continuously pass on the die and then cutting is carried out then after that the packaging the packaging with the butter paper is wrapping process and after that the secondary packaging system or maybe with the laminated bag packaging system and after that packaging they are stored under the frozen or the maybe refrigeration condition for the specific time limit in order to get the high quality of the final product these are the control points required to control during the processing of the butter the processing equipments depending on the small scale medium scale or the large scale in which the small scale required hand blender and the churner and the milk boiling pan etc for the medium scale processing involving milk pre-processing pasteurization unit then the cream separator uh, and after that the continuous butter making machines then deep freezer then butter packaging machines these are the minimum machinery requirement in the processing of the butter finally yield of the butter which is thus depending on the initial milk containing fat percentage for the if we use the full cream milk for the production of the 1 kg of the butter required full cream milk at least 13 to 40 liter it is totally depending on the fat containing uh, packaging of the butter various type of the packaging systems are available for the butter manufacturing process these are the references used for this preparation of this powerpoint presentation in this video discussion you learn the butter manufacturing process the technical terms and uh, specification of the butter thank you very much